Hi and welcome to the Tracetronic screencast series about the ECU test test automation software. In this video I want to show you how you can create a test case in ECU test. First you can open an empty package from the home screen in which you will describe the test case or you can choose a template like this one for instance that already contains the typical test case structure, precondition, action and postcondition. In our test case, we want to read the engine speed after we have pushed the accelerator by 10%. At first, I will switch on the ignition by setting the value of the respective simulation variable ignition on to 1. With a right click and write, we can open a dialog in which we can enter the desired value. This test step will automatically be inserted in this window. Here you can see the essential information. This means it's a model write step. Here you see the simulation variable and here we will find again which value we want to write. Then we need to start the engine by doing the exact same thing with the simulation variable starter on. Here too I set the value to 1 with a right click and write. After that, I can start with my actual test case. Quick reminder, we want to push the accelerator by 10%. In our simulation model, the accelerator is represented as driver request, and here we set the value to 10, since it's given as a percentage. Now I want to read the engine speed from the bus. Thus I switch here to the bus access tab and there I find the message engine data and the signal engine RPM, which corresponds to the engine speed. By a right click and read or simply by drag and drop I can now insert a bus read step. Now I also want to read out the engine speed directly from the ECU, that's why I switch to the measurement tab and search for the engine speed, which here is pictured as parameter n. And again I can use right click and read to read out the desired value. I select these two read steps with the right click and copy them here into the precondition in order to assure that the engine was switched off indeed. That's basically it, but we do want to make sure that we leave our test environment just like we found it. Therefore we switch back to the model access tab and set the accelerator position back to 0%. Also we switch off the ignition by setting its value back to 0. Finally, we'll save our package as engine start and have successfully generated a test case. In the upcoming videos, I will show you how to run a test case and how to automatically evaluate testing steps. Thanks for listening, take care and see you soon!